Viareggio on the northern Tuscan Riviera, an attractive and relaxing seaside resort. It's home to Marcello Lippi, the man who led Italy to 2006 World Cup glory. 13 players from that legendary team have followed in his footsteps and taken up careers in coaching. Andrea Pirlo, Rino Gattuso and Pippo Inzaghi are leading the pack in Serie A. A new generation of former champions who want to rule the world of football. This really means the years have passed. When I said goodbye to each of the players I spent some wonderful times with in the national team in Germany, I said, I'm sure whatever you go on to do in your life, be it coaches, kit men, sporting directors, you'll certainly do it well, because above all, you are really great guys. I believe I managed to pass on to my players everything I had in my heart and in my head. However, I know that they have their own ideas of how to play the game and a work ethic that they take on to the pitch. From maestro to mister, there's been a lot of hype around this romantic gamble. Andrea Pirlo appointed as head coach by Juventus. Lippi's confident his old club did the right thing. The first thing Andrea was able to achieve was bringing a sense of calm. He used his charisma with all these great champions, which was something Juve had probably lacked recently. Juventus president Andrea Agnelli made a great statement to me. He said, during yesterday's training session, at one point I had the same feeling that I had in 1994 when you came here to coach Juventus. You could feel the same attitude, the same enthusiasm. And he said the same thing to Andrea. I really hope he repeats what I did and obtains the same results. Lippi began to prove himself as a coach at Napoli in the early 90s. Fond memories of a club where another of his World Cup students has turned things around brilliantly. Of all my former players, the coach who is most similar to me in terms of tactics and personality is Rino Gattuso. There was a time when Rino was only known as Ringo, the brawler, because he enjoyed the physical side of the game. But battling wasn't the only thing about Rino. He was also an intelligent player, and he has become a coach who has managed to impose his own tactical ideas on the team. Rino has kept Napoli's high-quality style of play. But he's also tried to improve and update it. Quick through pass, a bit less possession, but at the same time still retaining that high pressure. Both Gattuso and Pirlo have high hopes for new signings who've given their sides an injection of youthful vigor. 21-year-old Nigerian Victor Osimen and 20-year-old Swede Dejan Kuluszewski. I hadn't seen Ossiman in action. Then I watched a few games. I saw how he gave the team more direct attacking options, which I haven't seen many players do. I think he really fits the playing style Reno wants. Then Kuluszewski, he's really settled in at Juve. Cristiano Ronaldo was very impressed with him and he told him, we'll have fun here, we'll see. He's a very good player, he scored 10 goals for Parma last year. I think he's set to do great things at Juventus. Juventus welcome Napoli to the Allianz Stadium on Sunday night when Pirlo and Gattuso face off for the first time suited and booted. Their former boss can't wait to see the tactical battle between the two old friends. 
di sicuro si affronteranno per superare. Both sides will definitely go out to win. They won't sit back. There are two sides built for success. They're strong sides with the right mindset. It's an exciting match. I'd love a ticket for it.